and about outdoors. I'm here with my daughter, Melissa, and my buddy Spuds. We're out here at uh, Nakamixon State Park on the Elephant Trail. It's uh, easy to find a trail. It's right off of uh, Elephant Road, which goes on the south side of the lake. Come in off a three-mile run from 563. Uh, we're here. We're going to do a little bit of uh, exploring, see if we can find some mushrooms, you know, just basically having a nice Sunday day out. All right. Brought the camera with so you all can see uh, what we uh, find, if anything. Hope you enjoy the video. Lots of dead wood in here. You think we could find something worthwhile? Huh? Uh, we took that up for trail. And uh, it's kind of tough trying to negotiate through all this. It's not really well kept enough for, uh, for your average person. So we're going to go back down to the bottom trail, which seems to be a little more manicured. And uh, check that out down there. I'm going to try this one. It says no biking, but it doesn't say you can't hike it. Right? I don't know how strenuous it's going to be, but I'll try to leave the camera run a lot in, in different spots so you can see what the terrain is like and hey, maybe you want to go this way sometime when you're out looking for something to do, right? Uh, anyway, like I say, we're at Nakamixon State Park. This is on the south side of the lake off of Elephant Road and it's called the Elephant Trail. Okay. Right. We gotta keep an eye out for the uh, horse landmines. Uh, I guess people do come in here with their horses and ride around. So now watch for the landmines. Fungus on this log here. I'm not sure what this one is, but it has this really cool, like almost like coral structure. Yeah. For the pores. But like all mushrooms, if you don't know what they are, don't eat it. You can handle it, just don't eat it. And if you're not, if you're like one of those people with super sensitive skin, bring yourself along a pair of gloves if you're going to pick them and handle them. That way, you know you're not going to get any of that into your mouth and, not, and digest it. All right? But mushroom picking is something you can do while you're out enjoying the outdoors. Look, <laughs> got a big turkey vulture flying over through there. There's a bunch of, maybe there's something roosting there in here, or maybe there's something dead in here that they smell. You never know, there's a lot of deer, and there is a lot of traffic on the highway out there on the way in. So, that tree over there. we got some, look like some head of the woods over here, no. or chicken of the woods. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of buzzards in here for whatever reason, though. I'm gonna go check them out. Looks like chicken. Looks like chicken. We gotta, yeah, we gotta, absolutely, you gotta. <laughs> Come on, buddy, what are you doing out there? Come on. Come on, we gotta jump. Come on. Let's go. That way. I don't know, sometimes he gets his own idea which way we should go. <laughs> yep, even Ron gets a workout from this stuff. A beefsteak mushroom. This has orange pores. We'll have to confirm. Alright. Pick a couple, take them with, check them out at home. And if they're not good, don't eat them. We can always throw them out. Right. I like this tree. There's an old, uh, looks like an old birch tree or an old cherry tree or something. Mm. Yeah, they look like a... Birch, though, is what I think it is, because that looks like birch bark. Also feel a little older. 
see how it kind of looks like. There's like a cross section. Yeah. What they look like on the inside. Definitely a polypore. Mm -hmm. Put them in my bag. Yeah. <laughs> you say you keep your eyes open, there's no, no telling what we could find. It did rain, so the conditions are really good right now for finding some fresh mushrooms. These look a little old, although these look like they're just starting to come out down further. Yeah. So. <coughs> Quite, you know, quite ready down here. They're just coming out, so it could be a place to come back and get some later after these are really good. Check out the bracket for this. On that log, it's one of the things we find most: is bracket fungus. <laughs> I don't know that it's good to eat or anything, but it sure is. Prevalent. There's a, a little white mushroom. My daughter walked by it. I'm not sure what it is. It's like kind of like a bracket fungus mushroom, but lots of bracket fungus in here. Lots of horse poop too. <laughs> Definitely a lot of horse poop. A jacket of pulpit there. It's a plant jacket of pulpit. It's kind of like a wild plant that grows everywhere that I know of. I've seen in lots of different areas. Of <laughs> Guess I turned it off. So, yeah, down here's the lake, Naka Mixon. Uh, you see, it's a nice lake. It's about maybe I guess probably like around seven or eight miles long, maybe longer. Uh, it's one of the better lakes, this area of the state for bass fishing. They do allow uh, gas motors on it, up to 20 horsepower. Better look out there. Anyway, it's fall, so I don't know how many people are actually out on the lake. It seems quiet today, but. We didn't come here to fish, we came here to look for mushrooms. So, we're not finding many, so, at least not what we were looking for or hoping to find, so. It's one of those things that now, at this time, the time of the year, you can really check them, find them in my area. Can you see him there? He's a praying mantis. Okay, he goes over through there. <laughs> Doing his job, he's praying, keeping the bug population down. Well, some stuff now. Not exactly sure what those are. I think they might be honey mushrooms. There's a pile of them over here. Just looks like we're late getting here. That's all. Dead. Yeah, a big pile of honey mushrooms there that are. Seen the better side of their honey days. <laughs> Definitely seems to be a lot of the spore here because there's other little spots of it in here. So maybe, maybe if we got some rain, maybe if we got some rain here, so down here, and we have some more over here. If we get some rain, maybe we can come back in here. I mean, we got some rain, but not like a lot. So maybe if we got a little more rain, it could be enough to trigger them to, to come back up again. Definitely seems to be some in here underneath these hardwood trees. One of those places to put on your map of knowledge to remember for the next time. Late today could be on time tomorrow, right? Cool. 
Some of them are edible, some of them aren't, some of them just need to see. When you find some that are good to eat, and you can harvest a few, it's okay to go ahead because they're just going to go to waste out here. Or hairpin mushroom. Well, guys can see that. One of the best ones for decomposing all the junk on the ground. We haven't really found anything good other than that one, one ch beef steak, uh, mushroom, or chicken of the woods. So, kind of off the beaten path here. <laughs> well, if we step on them, what about if the deer eat them off? Huh? See, this used to be some kind of like trail here at one time. You could tell just by the way the goes down through. Could be. People use and then stop using for all different kinds of reasons and it grows back. And they come in and put a different trail on it, right? Anyway. Well, you know, it's not unusual to find logs in a forest, you know. <laughs> Lots of logs. No mushrooms on them. Thought for sure we'd find some mushrooms around some of these log piles and stuff, but this doesn't seem to be. This does not seem to be. But it is a nice, coolish, kind of muggy day to be out here. I'm gonna take a snack break. Yep. Sit down somewhere and enjoy a nice carb snack. Keep my blood sugar at a good level for hiking. Not sure what this is. Check it out right there. Right there. The very end of my, my stick here. See, it's still supple, whatever it is. There's more back over there. I wonder what it is. I think it's old. Also, be careful. He's super tangled up in potatoes. Back straight up. He's potatoing me up. I don't know how he got around that. Well, he heard hot dog, and that's what he's trying to be. <laughs> how did he even do that? Oh, he managed. So anyway, we found some more mushroom there. But we're not the world's greatest authorities on mushrooms, so... Definitely would have to come back here again sometime, especially to this area, because it seems like right in this area here, there's lots of mushroom spore, and because we're finding a lot of older ones that are past prime. We only get sick, so we don't want to eat them like that. And then you got to watch out for the horse poop on the trail. You know, I mean, horseback riders, they have a right to be out here, too. You know, just got to watch, got to share the trail, right? Got to share the trail? We're sharing the trail. We're doing the best we can with the share tactics. <laughs> Looks like fall when you look in here. Huh? All the leaves are changing. It's not cold out, though. Amazing. It's... Probably in the upper 70s right now. It's kind of warm to be wearing a jacket. But I wore the jacket to help with the uh, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes from eating me alive. So We're almost back to the truck though. We're going to get some lunch. I don't know, we may even call it quits for today. This is so warm out. So Anyway, I'd like to thank you all for coming with. Uh, was a nice little hike, you know. Got to see some cool bracket fungus, white stuff here. 
and the red chicken of the woods that we found, or bee steak uh, fungus. You know, we really didn't find any uh, stuff to really harvest, but it was a nice little outing. Which, hey, it's what it's all about getting out and about, enjoying the outdoors, right? So, it gives you reason to be out there. Because I know some of us, we just need a reason, you know, whatever that reason may be. Okay, so, thank you, Care. Thank you all for coming with on this elephant trail hike. And, uh, hey, until next time. Right.